Welcome to the Transition Designer Tutorials. In this tutorial, it's all about Photoshop masks in combination with heavily moving objects. So far our work with masks was specifically with objects that worked relatively constant or almost steady and had defined edges. What do I do when I have an object that moves severely? Take a look at the end result. It's all about this area. We have a transition on the foot and then the mask moves appropriately along with it. How can I create this effect? The first part of this effect is easy. I took a standard, Dissolve, Extreme Horizontal Blur, Finished. The second transition is a little bit more complex. That's because first the mask goes in the other direction. And of course, I have to design a mask. To do that, click here, create a still, and name it simply Bag 10. Change over to Photoshop and load Bag 10 in. Create a mask with two layers. Soften up the edges just a little bit because of the motion blur. And fill one layer with black and one directly underneath with white. Save the file. Important again, save it as a Photoshop file, bag 10, and change back over to Premiere. Then I create a dissolve, and again, here be generous. Choose the wipe effect as the basis. Customize, image, then load the mask back in. Let's look at the effect. Here is the following problem. First, the mask moves in the wrong direction and the other way around. I can correct this quite easily when I change the angle. That means I click here and change the value to minus 90 degrees. Now, both the mask and the bag are both in the same direction. But as you can see, the mask has also changed its angle as well. You can, by the way, if you don't know how the mask looks like, always recall the original. So, in order to fix it, we can use the transform function to turn the mask 180 degrees. When I look at the result, then I can see we are pretty close. Of course, the time isn't exactly right, but all in all it would work like this. To change the time, we are going to click on Time Remapping and go to the position where we can see the mask. Set my keyframe and go back two frames and then to the end of the bag. Now, the effect should at least fit in the right sequence. It does. But as you can see, the mask is just pushed through, where the bag clearly moved. So the bag clearly went down. That means I can correct it again using the position when I put my keyframe. So the bag clearly went down. That means I can correct it again using the position 
when I put my keyframe to the start position. Therefore, I can leave it. And starting here, I can see where the bag actually was. Here it's already right. Let's look at it a bit more in detail. Aha! The pocket keeps falling lower and lower. And let's check the results again. You can see for yourself that I have picked up the bag and it works. When you know how to use it, the effect is easy to create. It's important that the mask be appropriately adjusted. That was the tutorial for a Photoshop mask for heavily moved objects. Thanks for watching and have fun with the transition designer. I know I will, and I hope to see everybody back here again for the next round of video tutorials.